It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am reporting from beautiful sunny La Jolla in the end of February uh, 2020. And this Euphorbia cynodenium grantii was planted here about five or six years ago and literally was as tall as the roof of the house. It was eating the house. In habitat, these can grow to 20 feet, but it's rare in cultivation for them to get much bigger than 10. So imagine my surprise. Anywho, it was late in the day. We'd been doing maintenance. The thought of digging this mature plant out of the ground and avoiding the super highway of irrigation and lines and, and tubes and footings was just more than I could stand. I have a client that's very tolerant. This isn't a real focal spot in her yard. So what I did is I took my loppers and I just chopped it down. Now, you know how I'm always saying dig the plant out, cut off the top parts and put them back so it looks pretty. This is why. Isn't this fugly? I mean, it's just, it's so ugly uh, to look at this bare wood. Um, but it's not dead. As much as it may look like it is, you can see that after three months, we've got little new branches forming. This plant is from East Africa. It is a, a plant that is uh, dormant in the winter time, does not like the cold anyway. So it just kind of sat here and pouted for the last three months. But now that the weather is warming up and we're coming into spring and summer, it is going to leaf out and branch out like a champ. So yes, you can do it the old fashioned way and just chop from the top if you don't mind looking at ugly for months on end. Um, as far as irrigation, Synodenium grantii does not require much infrequent, but if you don't water it at all, it will drop its leaves and nobody wants that. Also, these leaves are very, very sensitive to hail, to wind, to environmental uh, toxins, to insects. See on this leaf, the little white spots? That's just scarring and damage from I don't even know what. Uh, so you want to make sure that you plant this in a sheltered or protected area where it's not going to be, you know, blowing in the wind. Um, other than that, it's a really neat tropical plant. The, the, the leaves are range from pinks to greens to purples to eggplants all on the same leaf. It's a cool one. And I do encourage you to remember also that it's euphorbia. It has that sap that you don't want to connect with your skin or your eyes. But handled properly in a semi-shady place um, with little to no water, doesn't need any fertilizer, uh, you should have a great amount of success with this tropical succulent. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from La Jolla, California with Synodenium grantii and your succulent tip of the day.